This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. me who was one of the weirdest people you've ever known or associated with it would be this guy here chuck farnham uh yeah how did that happen i mean everything about you there isn't an aspect of your life that isn't uh isn't weird and i just was talking to you about one of them and i i did not remember the story so you're going to have to elucidate but okay. your stepdad who's currently in the hospital and was having life-threatening he's, um, problems. He could use the proverbial thoughts and prayers. I yeah. mean, he's... Yeah, he's at that point. How old is he? Um, Well, we went to high school together. Now, that's so. the part. Wait a minute. That's the part I wanted to get to. <laughs> is that the part you have a problem with? Your stepfather... Correct. ...is an old school chum of yours. Um, well, I, well, I didn't know him in high school, but we were in the same high school at the same time, basically. So he's the same age you are? He's a little older than me, but not not a lot. Not not what you would expect. And how old is your mother gone, or is she still around? No, no. Old mom is still there, and she's your, exactly your age. Thank you very much. Well, I mean, now it was always... Can you, know. you introduce me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can hook you up. She's a, She now is uh, sitting at the house, as we speak, mm -hmm. with 27 cats. 27. What? She has 27 cats. Is she out of her goddamn mind? I can't uh, imagine what that house smells like. Well, she kind of lets them live outside, but if they get inside, then they they get agitated. Oh, you're in the country, aren't you? Right, right. So they're barn cats, but they she feeds them because she's, you know... And they, it's, it's, some of them don't have one eye. One of them I saw the other day is missing an ear. <laughs> it's, I'll send you some photos. It's, I took photos it's, while they were It's eating. a home for misfit cats. Yeah, and she's like, well, you know, I've got people coming out here to take care of this. But when she told me that, she had 17, and now she has 22. If you're losing cats, how did the number go up? Wow. It's bad. It's wow. really bad. And and I had to bring cat food out there. She didn't have any cat food, so went and got cat food. Well, for if them. they're living outdoors, can't like they, I'm they, enabling can't, can't they eat on live on mice and squirrels and it, You're making sense. Don't you don't want to do that with her. If you're in the country, cats know how to feed themselves. You know? You're correct. And yeah. you pull up to her place and you know what you see? eight cats on the roof of the house no kidding yeah they're like up there wandering around and then they come now, down now is it did she do this because she likes cats or did she do this because the cats just kept screwing she did this with ducks before that see i told you he was the weirdest I, guy i have known yeah we had yeah. we she did it with ducks before that yeah and she did it with horses before that yeah it's just, you know, she feels the need to nurture these animals. Who, I mean, barn cats are a mangy little collection. Can I just say this? And I'm not saying this to be disrespectful. But is your mother nuts? Might be. I mean, I'm not sure she's been tested, but you have very strange conversations with well, her I about mean, stuff. It, well, I mean, would you say some of her strangeness wore off on you? No, she's more in the area of um, senility, you know, more really? kind of dementia-ish sort of dementia-ish. I never heard that. Yeah, term. yeah, you like, you know, she probably. I went to the doctor and he said I was dementia-ish. Ish. I, you know, she probably hasn't been tested, but it's like, you know, he, you know, her, her husband's in the hospital, 
And she, she goes, well, I, I call the doctor at the hospital because he, he needs to know that I'm there. I go, the doctor needs to know that you're there? And he goes, no, no, Gene needs to know that I'm there. And I go, you're not there, you're on the phone. Did, did, did the doctor put the phone next to him? Because I arranged for that to happen. She goes, no. I mean, he is, I mean, he can't talk and they've got him heavily sedated. There's, you know, he can probably hear you if you're standing next to him. I had a conversation with him the other day when he was on light sedation. And I could get responses out of his fingers. Gene, you know, Gene, can you hear me? Move your finger. And I could get that to happen. And he went. She was shocked. <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck are we doing this? And and she was shocked. Wait, well, you, you talked to him? What did he say? Did he ask about me? Well, when my friend Shecky was dying and in the hospital, and he was lying there, you know, with the intubation in him and all of that. Sure. Or maybe he didn't have the intubation in him at that time. Uh, uh, the nurse said, well, talk to him. He can probably hear you. Right. And I said to myself, I guess, you know, he looks like he's out like a light. He's in a coma or no, whatever. No, I, I and think she when they said, all, they can, my view is your ears always work no matter what. So yeah. I think they can hear you. But she said, well, he, he probably won't know you're here. You know? Right. He's going to hear you. Yeah, but I don't know if she was saying that to make me feel good or, to, or because it's true. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I think it's true because I think people come out of that sedation and go, "Were you?" They'll they'll go, "Hey, did you ask me questions the other day? You know, were you were you in the room?" And uh, you know, you say yes, and they go, "Yeah, I thought I heard you." I saw a thing on YouTube about death. Uh, yeah, and and the part that doesn't scared, sound that bad. But no, it it sounds worse. Really? Yeah. What they said was that once you're declared dead. Mm -hmm. you may still be alive. Right. I saw You may still like be aware of everything around you. Well, my, my view on this, and I got a book, is that we live in slices of time, and when you die, that energy moves over to another slice and continues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I could be crazy. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. It's possible. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, um, it's amazing to me, you know. Yeah. Um, well, the older you get, then you start thinking, hey, in high school, why did you go to gym class when you could have went to, maybe I should take vitamins and exercise and eat salad. Yeah, yeah. Or how to make a salad, for instance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe frozen food isn't so great. Maybe it isn't. You know, pizza <laughs> might suck. Yeah. No, no, no. We're running around the track for three hours. Really? That makes sense. I don't know. I'm trying to get that to stop, and nobody's listening to me. Yeah. I'm trying to uh, get a, a picture here that's in sync. It, it looks like we're not in, exactly in sync. Uh oh. So if I do this, then we're in sync. See? It looks mm -hmm. like we're in sync. But it uh, it's not good because then if I. Well, it looks okay. All right. All right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with it. Okay. Huh? I, I, I'll go with it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I have no idea why the other one isn't, uh, isn't in sync. Yeah, uh, the picture's come through really well I, here. I know. No, he, there, you're getting my picture okay. Yeah. You know? Oh, okay. Let me see here. Okay. I've just done it so that it's okay now. All right, we're so the, more, oh, the, we're, more the hospital, in, we're more in sync. We're more in sync now. The hospital he's in is like this brand new, fancy, state of the art place. Man, it smells brand new. Really nice place. And I go in there, and immediately my arm starts hurting, and my neck hurts. You know, I can't get anywhere near a doctor without having five hundred symptoms. Yeah, well, you know, um, I, I don't think hospitals are not the most pleasant place to be. This place is beautiful inside. It's like you're well, in a hotel. It, it can be beautiful, but so what? You know? Right. There's too if, many beds if you, if in a hotel. In a, if you're in a coma, it doesn't really matter. Right. You could barely see him by for the machines that were around. Yeah. I mean, it... Have you ever had a near-death experience? Um, I mean, outside of marriage. 
Let me think. Um, I look back uh, and there were several times when I could have died and I didn't. Like I was um, supposed to be in uh, that building in San Francisco, all the bricks when the uh, earthquake fell. Yeah. The earthquake happened. I was at the baseball game because the two guys I was going to the meeting with told me to go. They went to the meeting. The building fell on them. Didn't kill so them. They, oh, they died. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that picture, the famous picture you see of all the brick rubble on top of a car. I was supposed to be in that car. Oh, boy. Well, that's that's not a near-death experience. No, that's no. A, 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 what, what, what could you call that? It's not... You know, it's not a near-death experience because the bricks didn't fall and then you right. got them out of the way and walked up and wa- walked out. You know? I didn't walk out of it, yeah. No. Well, I've never had a near-death experience. You know? uh-huh. I've never. I mean, I've been in dangerous situations. Right, that's never, what I would, you know. But I've never had a near-death experience, you know. Mm-hmm. I guess I just kind of like tippy-toed around death, you know. Well, lucky you. I'm not, I'm not sure it's that bad. What? I mean, I'm not sure it's that bad. What? It might death. It might be okay. Well, I'm sure that it's not a. Uh, uh, this isn't morbid at all. A, it, I'm sure it's not a terrible process because I think nature, by virtue of nature, makes sure that you go rather pleasantly. You know, everybody talks about seeing the white light. Right. You know that kind of thing. Uh, Jesus at the gates. Although no, I've been no. told the white light is nothing. Really? Yeah, all it See, is I is all your synapses closing down at the same time. What about me? What about your energy? You came into this world with energy, right? You well, grew you, inside. No, your else. your your energy was created. Right. Okay. All right. But what keeps your energy going if you're just living inside this? In my case, um, you know, 300 and some odd pound vessel. It's Hmm. a big pot, but it's a vessel. Um, What if, you know, when that vessel decides to finish being used, you move to something else, a different vessel? Well, I I would like to, you know, there are lots of things that I, I want a scientific answer. See, I don't don't want, want I, I don't want a spiritual answer. Because spiritualism is just a hoax, okay? Right. So I want scientific proof that maybe there's another level we go to. I mean, I've seen certain things in science, like uh, uh, quantum theory has, uh, you know, the fact that we don't just live in this dimension. There are right. like 12 other dimensions. Right, and that's what I'm talking about with those little uh, those little segments. But in every one of them, your life is different. Right, you know that's what I believe. But you're on twelve and different I, dimensions. I, if I go now, do you simply fo- going, do you simply fold into one of those other dimensions? I believe that's what you do. Exactly. I have a book on this. I'll send you the the whole name. What of happens the whole thing. when you die in all the dimensions? Finally, I don't think you do. Really, I think that you're cycling through them. Hmm. And my dream is that once, once I'm not on this one that I can come back and watch everybody I know shower. That's my plan. <laughs> shower? I'm gonna come back. You wanna watch, I, I tell them you wanna I go, watch me I go, shower? I wanna watch them all shower. I wanna, you know, even people at the restaurant, your waiters and waitresses, I go, you know what, when I die, I'm open to watch you no, shower. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second. What is it about showers that fascinates you? Well, no, they'll be, I'll be up above, yeah. And they'll be naked in the shower, and I'll be able to look down on them, like a heat light, kind of. I, I see. Yeah, and you don't care if they're male or female. I don't care if they're r- relatives. Everybody, everybody. That's what I want to do. I want to spend the next slice just doing that. Coming I think it'll be fun. And watching everybody take the uh, now, now you know how I'm going to And then, then they'll all be creeped out because I tell them this while I'm alive. If you right? died tomorrow, okay, I don't think I could ever take a shower again knowing that. That's what I tell them. I tell them, you know, I go, oh, you were going to find out if this whole thing is real because I'm telling you all right now, when I die, I'm going to watch you shower. And so these guys, you, everybody else, is all going to be in their showers going, 
I just felt something. Well, you know what I oh, do? Crappies. What I do is I have a friend that died earlier this year, my friend Shecky, right. who right. is my closest friend, okay, in all mm-hmm. the world. Yeah. Somebody I truly miss every day right? since he's gone. And what I do every now and then, there's several shows that he watched and that I watched that uh, I knew that he wanted to find out what happened or what the next season was like. Right. One of them was Riverdale. And the other one is Below Deck Mediterranean. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, this is a guy who's a big film buff, knows every film that ever existed, you right, know, right. whatever. He, like, and he is one of his favorite shows is Below Deck Mediterranean. You know, you can take um, cruises now with the, one of the chefs. He has a cruise that you can go on. Oh, really? Yeah. But anyway, here's the deal. Here's the deal. So I now, right now, Riverdale's over with, but I was doing it when Riverdale was on, and now I'm doing it with Below Deck Mediterranean, is I invite Shecky to watch it with me. Exactly. You know? And I figure he's up there somewhere, and he's watching it, you know? And after it's I over, do, I have a I, little conversation with him about it, and then I'll see you next week. I do the same thing. With when I'm, I'm having tea or... My grandma used to make me tea all the time, or I'm drinking tea, and I think about her, and you know, and stuff like that. It, it's interesting. Well, I but, think I think there is some truth to the man, the uh, the uh, manner, that matter. You're gonna like this book. I had dental. They cleaned my teeth today, and I, I there's sores all over my mouth right now. I'm in excruciating pain. No, but uh, no, I. Um, where was I? Oh. Um, let's see. We were death. Um, what yeah. you see after death. Yeah. What yeah. you might see after death. Yeah, I, uh, forgot. I forgot where I was going. With it'll, that. it'll come back to you. No, but. Next. Uh, th- th- oh, oh, no. That I believe that if you keep remembering a person and you sometimes even talk to them or they're there in sure. your spirit, that they're still alive. Not maybe in the normal sense, but certainly their right. existence is is there, and uh, so I'm you know I'm very ha- I'm very happy to you know it's, believe it's a calming that. experience. I have a wrench that was one of the oldest wrenches in my dad's toolbox, and every once in a while I'll pick it up and there's you, you can feel them there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's. And but you tell certain yeah, people that, yeah. like you know, you need medication. But I think I think the American Indians believe this. As long as you honor them and remember they're with them, you. they're still alive. Right. You know, in which case I'm dead, dead, dead because nobody will care when I go. Oh come on, and I will. Marjorie might. You know, she seems really nice. Yeah, yeah, that's what she seems. Uh, well. <laughs> Yeah, Anybody that would put up with you and me, we hit the gold mine probably. Well, no, it's like my mother. I don't know if you were you around for my mother. Dude, I took your mother shopping. Oh yes, okay, all right. So I like your yeah, mother. yeah, yeah I know. And but the answer I used to have was, and you used to say things like she's so nice and blah 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 blah. And I went, my answer was that's because she's not your mother. Exactly. You know. She's my mother, and I don't find that's the same person that yeah. I deal with every day. The, the, the best visual I can give you about about your mother is when sitting in her living room above the TV was a big clump of your hair in a frame. Yes, yeah, she did that, didn't she? Oh, my God. It was the best ever. I laughed so hard. I'm like, is that? And she goes, oh, yeah. And I'm like, it couldn't be any better. It was like... I don't know She's, why she did. I think it was the first haircut they ever gave me. It, yeah, it was a lot of hair. There was not it was like really curly. Was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like a three by five frame. We're talking eight by ten, and it was jammed with hair. Yeah, yeah. I seem to remember that now. That's that was sick. Yeah, you know. You know, it's a little. And the funny part is, I knew about your mom long before I knew about you because I used to listen to that. It was it on Camiel or something? Yeah, Ruth Bennett's the grandma Canto. doing the top ten. Yeah. I used to tune into that all the time. I was like fascinated that this this little old lady was uh, telling me what to watch. Yeah, but anyway, so, so yeah, of course you you knew my mother, and I used to say, you know, 
Uh, yes, uh, she's the sweetest, nicest, most wonderful person in the world, but she's not your mother. Right. I you can know. say the same thing about mine. Because because you you, you, you deal yeah. with your mother on an entirely different level than... Ever. I mean, I often say my mother had, was the greatest con artist in the world, and that's why everybody thought she was terrific. You know, uh, there's nobody in this world that doesn't absolutely adore Marjorie. She, yeah, she has she has she friends. Has her people love her and care about her. But you know, she's my wife, and I have to deal with her day to day on many different things. Right. And so, therefore, I'm going to have a different perception of her than when you say, "Oh, she seems very nice. She's really great." You know, yeah, she's really great and she's really nice, but she's not your wife. You know. There you go. I just found out that Marjorie turned on the uh, 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 the oven. She's preheating uh, the oven. See, so nice. on, my, on my brand new watch, I can see it. Yeah, my uh, my phone tells me when the refrigerator has been opened. I just I went to the dentist today, and they had a toothbrush I could buy, an Oral B. Buy? Oral B oh, oral- that will send me messages via via email. Yeah. To to uh, what? Tell you to brush your teeth? Yeah. <laughs> Do we really need that? I am going to get the Facebook uh, the Facebook glasses. I want those. The Facebook glasses? Yeah, they have glasses that have cameras in them. And you can live stream directly from the glasses. So if I'm in the bathroom or something, I could go live to my Facebook page and talk to people while I'm pooping and stuff. Oh, that's good. That's terrific. I think so. Well, I kind of, there's that whole new Apple thing they're coming out with. Those glasses, the $2,500 glasses. Yeah, these the the Facebook glasses are two hundred bucks. This thing looks fantastic. Yeah, just fan. I mean, I may buy one. Why yeah, not? we've got we have a high end uh, Steam VR system here that costs about what those glasses cost. Really? Yeah, it and and it's got motion detectors all over the room. Yeah, so you can stand up and do stuff, and it's. You know, every time, every time I'm allowed to use it, um, I need lessons. What do you mean allowed to use it? Who who does it belong to? Belongs to the kid. Oh, really? And doesn't everything belong to the kid when you have the kid? Well, that's your kid. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. So, you know, he has the VR system and the fancy crap. And yeah, here's the other weird thing about Chuck is that Chuck. Uh, uh, I was seeing. Somebody asked, oh, here's one for you. Right. Somebody asked me the other day because the kid was with me. They go, "Oh, your grandson's here." Like, like he's not my grandson. No, what are you he's talking your about? son. No, he's your grandkid. Well, no, but here's the he's thing. Not. Here's the thing. I mean, our our link uh, together is, I was dating the woman who you had the kid by before, uh, you had the kid. <laughs> yeah, great, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What, what, what are you, what are you coughing up for? I don't know. It's a, it's a weird subject for me. Yeah, it's got to be. You can have many normal weird subjects. That one. Mm. Are you are you of the thinking of in your brain of why did I do that? No, no, no. I love that kid. I know you love the kid. The I result, the so, result was fine. That's not I what am we're talking. So happy about. with that that particular idea um, the implementation may have been a bit funky <laughs> but, but, but the 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 kid couldn't make me happier and he knows that he I but you know every once you in a while realize, you realize how strange life is that if you had come to me and said Alex I'm thinking about dating this woman who you used to go out with which you never did uh, should I I would t- have told you a resounding do not do that. Right, but but and then, like and then you wouldn't have this son. That's that's I know. how strange. Then I wouldn't have gotten I wouldn't have gotten what I got, which is which spectacular. Is spectacular. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no, and it couldn't be better. And the funny part with him is he's not like me. So he just kinda you know, he's heard all the bits a billion times and he just shakes his head. The funny part will be when he's talking to some of his friends and he'll mention something about me, mm-hmm. and they'll look me up on the internet. 
<laughs> oh. oh. Your dad is your dad's amazing. This guy is great. What is, <laughs> what are you talking about? And he's like, you know, then he'll come in and go, Did you actually do that? Is that really? He goes, My friends think you're a hero. And they go, Oh my god, your your life must be so great. You must be doing this and that and this and that. And he goes, he goes, He's my father. <laughs> I'm not sure we have your, your relationship that I have with this guy. Wow. Anyway, you know, hey, listen, like, we've run out of time. Thank God. Bad topic. <laughs> uh, anyway. No, good topic. Your son's a good topic. I, you know, I'm sure you'll run into him at some point. Yeah, 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 I'd love to. And you'll see, you'll go, wow, this is, how did this happen? Well, and, and you know, how, did, yeah. guy. And how did he turn out so well? Smart really smart yeah. like crazy smart see, so see. i don't know takes I after just, his dad maybe i'll see you next time bye kids bye bye now in its ninth year this is gabnet the great american broadcast network talk like you've never heard it before oh yes 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 okay all right there we go let me see here Am I okay? Am I going? Yeah, we're going. Nobody. Oh, there's one person that's called tonight. Okay, we have one person ready to go here. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let me see here. I'm gonna. I'm. Yeah. Mm, mm, uh huh. Hmm. Have some coffee. Have some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, let me bring in uh, our one caller here, and. Um, I'm I'm gonna hope that this is for real. Okay, so um, is that there? He is. There's Steve Fox. Hello, Steve. Hi there. Yeah. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Yeah. It's just the two of us. Oh, good. We got thirty minutes together. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute. See, let me see here. Let me. Uh, there we go. Nothing's been working tonight, so I've been trying to get it all going. Okay, it's all going tonight now. Mm -hmm. It's working then. Yeah, yeah. So how you been? Been doing pretty good. Yeah, I had a few days off finally, and, you know, my mind is back to Earth. So all is well Yeah. in the world of me and, and radio, too. So. Well, do you work? How many days a week do you work? For the last four weeks, I've been working uh, five or six days. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it's been a killer. And um, finally, it all let up. So everything's doing fine now. Um, it's been an interesting ride in radio, though. I mean, as far as uh, what's been going on, you know, with the news and whatnot, it's just been crazy. I mean, as you know, and um, just been dealing with a lot, of, a lot about that, especially yeah. at work. You know, because you got the whole news department running in and out and doing their thing. So, well, you know, this is a time that news departments go batshit. Yeah, and they they think of the, this is going to be the way they're going to make their bones. Exactly. You know, and then it, with you talking about the other week, um, you know, these reporters going overseas and asking these silly questions and whatnot. Yeah, and then on the BBC that night um, that I went to work. They asked a stupid question, and the person who was crying and going through, you know, the hardship and the bombs all around her, asked them the question. Says, "What would you be doing? What, what's your answer to this?" And it stunned the reporter. And he's he's well, I'm just trying to find out what the you know with the same type of question. And she came back at him again, and um, it was funny. It was like, huh, interesting. So, but, but you know, it, there's nothing worse uh, than uh, the way these news people are handling this situation. You know, it's a very tragic situation, no question about it. And they go over there, and then they start asking these stupid, lame-ass questions. Oh, you saw your father get beheaded. What was that like? How did you feel about that? Oh, I felt great. I hated my father, and uh, he should have gotten his head chopped off. I mean, what kind of answer do you expect? Yeah. You know, but what they're trying to do is they're not trying to elicit a newsworthy answer. They're trying to elicit an emotional answer. 
that they hope will get them ratings. And they're all over there pretty much auditioning for their next job at the network. You are right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, it's, oh, shit, there's a big spider. Hold on. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> Bring him down. Yeah, maybe he wants to be on the show. Hey, no, you know what's funny was uh, the lady who's on in front of um, in front of uh, um, Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper, she's out on the balcony in you know somewhere over there. She says blah 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 blah, and now here's 360 with Anderson Cooper, and she's you know the black background you know from the night mm -hmm. or early in the morning. It's like three in the morning, and mm -hmm. then there's Anderson Cooper. They switch to him and the same background. Because he's there too, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's and like, they send like, okay. They search for one person or another. You're in the same place. You're going to talk the same story. You know, they send everybody over there. They've been sending them over now for at least a week and a half, if not more so. Uh, and um, somehow, <laughs> nothing. You know, they don't have anything new to report. You know, Lester Holt being in. Uh, Tel Aviv, uh, how's he going to solve anything? How's he going to improve the situation? He's just over there for bragging rights. And because uh, Nora O'Donnell went over there, and the guy, whatever his name is, over at ABC went over there, so he had to be over there. And nobody's coming home till the first one decides to leave. I'm sorry, but I said it last week. I just want... You know, it'd be nice maybe if something happened, maybe take some people out. Maybe then they'd stop going. That's the only thing that's going to stop them. Yeah, well, I just think it, th what they're doing is they're taking advantage of a horrible situation for ratings. You know, uh, they're doing this 24-7. It's, it's, it's a shame. It's a real shame. Um, you know, I, uh, I am bothered by the whole, the whole deal. Because I don't think there's any real reporting being done. What they're doing is they're reporting new news press handouts is what they're doing. In other words, they uh, you know there's a press release they read that on the air. That's what they're that's the extent of them being a news reporter. And um, I just think that they should be better than that. They shouldn't rely on the what the news. Uh, the uh, releases that are being handed to them um, and whatever you know oh Israel said this so it's got to be true mm. well yeah. I think that there's a lot of false news being reported here I think if you ask Israel they're going to do their take on it no we didn't bomb that uh, hospital the Is Palestinians did the Palestinians say no we didn't bomb it the Israelis did well, who did? We're never going to find out because the press isn't doing anything to find out. They're just mm -hmm. using the press releases. And they're, you know, I mean, I, I, there are two people I feel sorry for. I feel very sorry, of course, for the, uh, oh, this says Kevin Stopper. Let me just make sure that it is Kevin Stopper. Okay, here we go. Is it Kevin? Can pull down the spider. There it is. Okay, oh. there we go. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got it. I hope I did. Jeez, <laughs> sleeping through. Yeah, but anyway, I, 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 I just, you know, I sit there, and I'm wondering what, it, what is the truth? You know, what is is happening? Who bombed that, that uh, Hosp hospital? Uh, yeah. And here in America, they're going to report that Israel said this, and it's got to be true. Well, why does that have to be true? I mean, it, to begin with, uh, Netanyahu is one of the most horrible human beings on the planet. You know, and I'll even say that considering all that's been going on. Let me say that what went on was ghastly, just absolutely ghastly, horrifying. And uh, certainly, I can't have any great feelings about the Palestinians, or at least about Hamas, okay? I think the average person in Gaza would rather not have bombs flying into their in the backyard, you know. And uh, it's just it's just horrible. And no, but nobody's sitting around um, saying, "Where's the truth here?" You know, where does it lie? 
I mean, and all we're doing is we're encouraging the carnage. And let me explain this. We're encouraging the carnage because we're not sitting around saying, we want to know the truth here, you know. And we, we, we're not necessarily going to say it's a good thing that Israel went in there and started bombing the crap out of Gaza, all right? Uh, let's be honest. What, they, what happened and what Hamas did is absolutely unconscionable. No question about it. It is, it is a crime against humanity, all right? But uh, I got to tell you, uh, uh, by then responding in kind and then dropping bombs like crazy on civilian populations, in response to that, gets you down to the level of what Hamas did. And we encourage that because we side with one side or the other. What we should say is, I know the, the, the real response here is revenge, is to go in there and just kill everybody in sight in, in, in Gaza. The answer to this is you don't do that. What you do is you try to find some kind of peace so that more of this doesn't happen. And just because you then go in and do the same thing doesn't make you better than they are. You get what I'm saying? Does any of this make sense? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't make sense, Alan? No. Why? No, they attacked Israel. Israel has the right to defend themselves. What you're, what you're saying is you're honoring uh, getting even. And the fact is, getting even isn't the answer here. Nobody coming coming to, a, to a, a, a way in which there is no more of this kind of thing going on is the yeah. answer. That Trying to find true peace is the answer. Yeah, we've had a lot of presidents try and yeah, do that. But you, you, you're, like, you're, isn't that work? No, no, but what you're saying is, wait a minute, we got to go in there to Gaza, we got to get even. No, we don't got to get even. Nobody's got to get even. Somebody's got to try and solve the situation. Isn't that what they went over? Isn't that what Biden went over there for? Is that meeting and then the hospital incident happened and they canceled all that? Yeah. Because of all yeah. the turmoil? Yeah, but he one went over side, there to one try and at least get them together and start trying to straighten things out before it got ugly, which it's still ugly. But now that's all, you know. Well, you know, uh, when, when, when Israel. It's been thrown out right now. Israel lobs but missiles. Do we think that Hamas may have known that this was going to happen and set up the United States as well? You know, knowing that we were going to go over there and there's now any we're number, there's any number this. of scenarios and lies and mistruths that can be given here, yeah. uh, and uh, but you don't just rush into, you know, the the people in Gaza, they're just human beings like you and me with families and kids and right, you know, and they they don't like what's going on there, <clears throat> uh, and they're not happy with it, but they're the ones that are suffering as a result of it. You know, and I think you got to take a more measured approach to your response than this desire to get even. It, it's a very natural desire. It's a very natural response, but you shouldn't do it. So, I don't know. I'm just, I, uh, excuse me, folks, but I just think that we're not getting the truth from anybody over there. No and we're, else and we're not getting a true picture of what's going on. Well, that's the thing, there. is they're doing it on a historical basis, and everything. every time something happens, it's pull the trigger. Yeah. Every time something happens, they don't, they don't worry about what's, you know, what's right. They just pull the trigger. And by the way, am I going to say that I trust Bibi Netanyahu? No. He's no. a guy who's been under assault in his own country for what he's been trying to do in changing the Supreme Court and things like that. And this was a perfect, this was almost a dream come true for him. A oh, diversion. yeah, it's got everybody's mind off it. Yes, a diversion. And so he's not on the, on the griddle anymore. And, and I might say for Biden, the trip going over there, I don't know what he expected to accomplish, but I'll tell you what I know he accomplished, a few more votes. Mm -hmm. That, and when did you last hear anything about Ukraine? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, he did say too. he did say in a speech wow. last week that we have can't take our eye off Ukraine. 
Yeah. yeah. So, it, but yeah. how God. much has it been reported? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you haven't. The heard only anything. thing they're saying about it is that the the house is all fucked up, and and we're still not getting any any work done yeah. there. Yeah. And nothing will get done with Ukraine if the house is all fucked up. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm what are they on the third vote for uh, Jim Jordan now? Yeah, we're going through that crap like we did with uh, McCarthy. Boy, I sure hope these people remember this in the election time in 2024. No, they won't. won't. No, they Too won't. Far away. Yeah. Too far away. Yeah. Back on party lines anyway. Short <laughs> memory. Yeah. I, do, I do like what uh, some rich Jews businessmen in this country are doing with Harvard and the University of Pennsylvania. They're, they are allowing anti-Semitic demonstrations to happen on their campus. What is and an anti-Semitic demonstration? I'm sorry? What is an anti-Semitic demonstration? Uh, uh, you know, Free Palestine. Uh, well, that's not anti-Semitic. Well, I don't know. In fact, in fact, Palestinians are Semitic. Okay. Uh, but they're not pro-Jew. Well, uh, they're not pro-Jew, but maybe they're Palestinians, and they don't want—they don't want to see their people dying as a result of this. You know, this is, I mean, everybody. This is every, money. This is this is taking money from universities. You, you, Jewish businessmen taking money from universities. What? That's what I said. That's how I started this thing, right? I said that. I said that. I I think it's great that Jewish business people in this country are taking money away from Harvard and the University of Pennsylvania. Well, you know, I mean, uh, I just think that uh, there are two sides to this, and there are a lot of people who are Palestinian who are fearing for the, the lives of their own people over there. And here. Yeah, and especially here. How about that Palestinian kid, that six-year-old Palestinian kid who was killed? Unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of Americans are going to go back to uh, right after post 9-11 and attack Muslims and Palestinians for for no reason. Right. Right. And we're going to see that here. Right. And they know it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, I mean, uh, you know, it, we, it, I, I just, you know, when, when you say when you say that there was an, they were being an anti-Semitic. No, pro-Palestinian is not anti-Semitic. Yeah. You know, uh, it's pro-Palestinian. I've okay. always been for the Palestinians. I, I've always felt they were the, the the people who were being set upon the worst. You know, mm -hmm. they were out in the desert with no place to live. I mean, I for years. I mean, this goes back what thirty years. I was pro-Palestinian. I mean, I'm also I'm also pro me. I'm I've never been too fond of Israel as a country. I think they have had some. They've been politically questionable. You know, that's pretty clear. You've made it pretty clear that you're not pro Israel. Well, that's not, okay. it's not that it. You look, it's not being pro or con anything here, because I mean I can't be against Israel because Israel exists and it has existed for the last how many years. And will hopefully will continue to exist, uh, but uh, it's just I haven't been too fond of their politics. Now, how they've handled this whole Mid East question on their own, and nobody's, you know, except of course on the other side, have taken them to question on this whole thing. But anyway, you know, there's so much of this, and it just it, I was I was talking to Steve. I mean. It's just, you know, the, the news people are using this as a way to get ratings. You know, and I find that the most shameful thing. They're, they're literally trying to make their careers on the deaths of people. You know, and this is not, this is not right either. No. There, is there time, they think this, it's, this is my time to shine. So I'm going to go over to... Yeah, and I'm going to get somebody to cry and uh, on, on camera. And I'm going to send back this... this uh, bleeding heart report oh they're gonna love me in new york you know i'm gonna i'm gonna get a who, new huh who is not over there i'm not I mean, there they've got I'm not over everybody there. over there i'm not over there they have everybody planted in Trump's not over there. they've got people over there in lebanon they've got people all over the place i mean who is not over there 
And what they're doing is they're taking advantage of a horrible situation for exactly. ratings. And ratings it, it mean money. Mm -hmm. And they're doing I don't know why Lester Holt's over there. He has him, and he's already made his bones with the world. He's an older guy. Why doesn't he just retire and stay here? I, I, I saw Lester Holt the other day, right? Yeah. And he says, and we're here in a bomb shelter, and all of a sudden you heard that there was a bomb coming overhead, and Lester goes for the ground. Right. And everybody is still standing up. Yeah, well, I mean, he's not used to being bombed. <laughs> That's like the hurricane guys, you know, standing there and, and trying to not to fall over while the guy behind him is walking along. He's walking right, along. Right, yeah. exactly. You know, I mean, they, bombs are going they, off every day, going overhead every day now, but they don't necessarily come down. And you're in a you're you're in a uh, a bomb shelter for crying out loud. And, and when the alarms start going off, they love that because they say, "Ooh, here the alarm is going off." Oh, yeah. da, da, da. but Lester was the only one that went for the ground. You know, yeah, that's great. That's wonderful. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just on I'm another... sure the Israelis that were with him in the bomb shelters probably said, what an idiot. So yesterday, I uh, we can get back to this in a moment. I thought we'd change the subject for a second. Because I was going to start the show off with this, and then we could get into the other. Uh, but uh, yesterday, I went to my dentist to get my tooth pulled. <laughs> and... Um, uh, I went there, and uh, he pulled it, you know. I mean, he sh shot me up with Novocaine like you wouldn't believe. I mean, he gave me one <laughs> shot of Novocaine. I figured that's it, right? Oh, no. Then he comes back and does about five more into my Ooh. mouth, you know. So if the day afterwards I'm hurting from anything, it's the Novocaine. So... Uh, um, uh, your, yeah, I, your your body processes. The uh, yeah, I know, I know it does, but it took what it took it about six hours to go away. I mean, it was it was taking forever. Yeah. But anyway, I figured after the Novocaine goes away, I've had just had a tooth pulled, right? It's gonna hurt. Nothing. Nothing. Now one other thing. He did one other thing yesterday. What else do you think he did yesterday after he, he pulled the tooth? Do you have any idea? Made a boat payment. Made a boat. <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess you're right about that. You know, wait a minute, hold on a second. Let's see if Ray, this is Ray and not somebody claiming to be Ray. Okay. Um... Not coming in fast enough. Wait a minute. There he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. Fine. All right. Okay. I'll take a while and guess. Okay. Take a guess. Okay. Root canal. No, 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 no. They pulled the tooth. What are they? What root? There's no they, root left. Well, they, they pulled yeah. the wrong one. Hmm? They pulled the wrong tooth. No, this one really amazed me. What do you think that he, he the other thing he did yesterday? Major put procedure. The, major procedure. Put the post in. No, you don't put a post in because you've gotten rid of the tooth. No, but I mean you got to drill in the little the. the yeah, thing Brian's right. right. You got to drill into the jaw to put the post in to hold the tooth. Well, no, uh, what you're talking pants, about is it, you're you're close, but no cigar because you're not using the right term. The implant, right? He, put, the put, implant. he put in the implant oh. after oh. he pulled the tooth. Oh, well, he had a lot of extra glue. Well, no, in the old days, yeah. they would wait three months after pulling oh, yeah, the tooth to, mm. then, to then put in the implant. And then you wait th another three months for the implant to get a, ho a hold, right? And then you do the rest. <laughs> well, yesterday, he did the implant, put the implant in, and he said, two months from now you come back, we'll... Uh, we'll two months? The whole process, which used to take six months, now only takes two months. So yeah. he had How? rather he had an impression of your tooth and had the implant made beforehand. No, or no, an implant is not a tooth. The implant is the is the the thing they put screw into your jaw. No, that's they, a post. They, what? 
No. That's a post, no, like not, Brian that's said. That's not a post. That's an implant. You implant and screw in the pin. The and pin. I, I have one. And I have, the I have, pin, a, the I have a tooth there and, that's and, an implant. Right now, right now, the pin is not there yet because right. he will put that in. He will oh, so he's done a temporary. In. I see what you mean. No, this is a this is a implant. This is what they he, he drilled. He drilled in your bone, and he put the thingy where the post is going to screw in there. You're going to have the little pin there, and then the tooth gets on top of that pin, right? Absolutely, yeah, right? Yeah, well, but you didn't. But that, he's saying he's already grafted your tooth. He already has your is going to make your tooth. Well, he's he going to put make the nut a, in before the screw. Hmm. He right. Put the nut in before the screw. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, the threads are in there. Yeah. He looks oil. <laughs> yes, Ray. So I have I have three That's implants. It. I have yeah. three implants in it, so I'm confused here. So it's because they have to match the color with the other teeth, unless it's in the back. Well, wait, wait, we matter. haven't even got to that part of it yet. He's gonna have gold teeth. How is he get? He's he gonna he's like color it in when it's in your mouth? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. We haven't gotten to that yet. <laughs> oh. Now the implant, the the thing that the post is going to be attached to. And then the tooth is going to be attached to, is now embedded in my jaw. Oh, okay. And we have to wait th uh, two months. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they have. Well, are, did they use like a uh, bone from a cadaver, or what did they put in there? To oh, no, no. <laughs> that's what they do. That's what they do. Yes. That's yes. When, No, that's when you've got problems with the with the bone. And they've got to uh, put it. Alex's in bone hasn't worked in years. Oh, okay. So mine, mine had to have that because I do, I, I did have problems. With yeah, the bone. yeah. They, uh, do, they do that, to, you know. But in this case, the bone was just fine, and he just figured I'll just go ahead and I can screw this thing in there now. And then oh, he, then he took some uh, sutures and yes. sewed it up and covered that, it up. And that's okay. so bizarre because they, they, they fold over the 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 skin and whatever that is, the tissue, and they, they, they. Um, they sew it together, and then naturally that thing will like parten up and then have the hole there. I guess you know, like, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what he. I didn't look. And that naturally, it'll because I've had it before. Naturally, it'll start like like healing itself, and he'll sew it together. But it'll it'll like open up where the hole is, and then it's ready to go. But you know, when I did it in the past, it's taken a period of six months to get a get an implant. Now it's yep. two months. That's it. You know, yeah, that's... usually yeah, six months because you have they, they you they wait two or three months for the for me it was like the bone graft had to like take hold and mm -hmm. then they had to like get the color right and then they gave me a, a like a flip thing that I would take in and out. Well, they wouldn't even have to get the color right yet. Next uh, after you after are you talking you, about your teeth after, there or not, after right? you waited for yeah the... my front teeth are all implants. A mm -hmm. a after you waited for that, you know, they then put in the implant. Which it, and then that sat there for three months, and then after that they came back and then they started doing all the things of taking an impression of the area and of the tooth and so on and so forth. And what I said earlier was a temporary implant. You said no, but yes, you. It's just not a temporary implant. It's an implant. It is <laughs> going to be there forever. There is okay. nothing temporary. So what about do you it. what do you what are you going back for in two months? To get a tooth. Uh, I, I think you're confused on what an implant is. I know what an implant is. I've had the, several. The tooth is the implant. No, the tooth is not the implant. The tooth is just like any other tooth you, you would get. You can't handle the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's good, Brian. The tooth, is not the, uh, the tooth is not the implant. The tooth is the final tooth that they put on top of the implant. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yeah. a crown. No, I, I, like I'm looking crown. at I'm looking at Google right now, and yeah, actually they show the implant, and they show the in the gums where the screw is. See, yeah, that's the yeah. implant. Are you, the implant uh, is the. Uh, are you the happy post now? Yeah. Well, we all said that we all had a screw. <laughs> yeah. And then they put the tooth over it. They, it's just semantics. It's just yeah, semantics. We're, we're all talking the same. Yeah. What do they charge you for the whole job, just out of curiosity? Oh, I don't know. This will probably be eight thousand bucks. I don't know. It'll probably that'll probably be about five thousand. I estimate. You know. Yeah. Uh, and, and where uh, is the uh, implant? It's right. It's good. It's right here. In the back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Say, uh, yeah. 
a tooth. It's a, it's a molar. It's a chewing tooth. No, it's a chewing it's, tooth. Yeah. It is a chewing tooth, which is a first molar, second molar, third molar is like usually one, a, two, three, fourth back. These aren't molars; these are incisors. We gotta, I gotta send you back to dental school. No, no, but it's 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 in back of the incisor. Oh, okay. Which or is the eye tooth? The molar. It's in back of the eye tooth. Okay, yeah. Well, my eye tooth on this side is is a is an implant and. They didn't have to do any bone graft, but they did. Uh, once I get the the old tooth out, they put a post in there and put a, a temporary, and so you didn't. And they waited three months, and then they took the te they cut the temporary off, and he had uh, taken an impression, and they had the tooth ready to go, and they just put the te temporary off, put some glue on it, and pushed the uh, the other one in, and that was it. I don't know if they use glue on these, on on the post on these. I I really don't know what they. Well, use. they did in my on. case. I I don't know yeah. about yours. What they what they do though? I mean, for the most part, it's just you know. It it but it was amazing to me that this whole process is only going to take two months and then another two weeks for the. That's very quick. Or maybe another week for getting the tooth made and everything like that. Yeah. Some of these some of these dentists that do a lot of implants have the machine that makes the implant right there. It's done with a laser. The tooth is not an implant. That's a crown. <laughs> Here it says it's a crown. The the tooth on top is a crown. Is a crown. Yeah, they, they put a crown on top. They have the implant, they have the implant post, and then they have the crown. Yeah, but yeah. Well, my dentist calls the whole thing an implant. So, and, but on yeah. top of uh, on top of it, of money. they don't just uh, they just don't uh, implant. I mean, they, it isn't just the tooth. The tooth uh, goes on top of the. There's a there. Uh, the next thing that'll go in there eventually, when they finally go to put the tooth in, is another little screw thing. It's an abutment or something like that, and then that holds onto the tooth. So. You know what's great about having implants in the front is if I, if I get in a, a street fight, I can mm. just bite somebody and just like rip them to shreds and my teeth will be fine. Your teeth will be fine, but you'll have AIDS and, and herpes and, and who knows what else. Jim, yeah. Jim Carrey took out that. Well, he had a, I think he had a crown. Or he had a chipped tooth, right? Right. So yeah. he took he it out for, out for, for Dumb, Dumb and Dumber. Dumber. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah oh, that's, wow. That's very cool. What did he do? Well, he had a chip in his tooth. Yeah. And, really big, and, and it, yeah. it had been, you know, fixed. All right, yeah. you know, they, they, whatever they do to take care of a chip like that. And when it was time to make Dumb and Dumber, he thought it'd be good for the part, so he had his dentist remove the chip. Oh, I see. And oh, the fix, how, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when you see him on film, it's it's really like that. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. I was Boom. in this, I was in this play where there was a fight scene, and the guy punched, and he went too close, and he hit one of my implants. And it just it totally sliced his hand, mm. and I didn't even Whoa. feel I didn't even feel it. It was great. Yeah. yeah. So I have a gap between my two front teeth, and it used to be about a half inch wide. But the same material that they fill your teeth with, and then put that little ultraviolet light and hardens it, they filled in the area between my teeth. A little bit on this side, a little bit on that side. It was like five hundred dollars and closed the gap. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Material. They like the Amazing. five the part that cosmetic said cosmetic bonding or something. They like, like the that. part that said five hundred dollars for that. Absolutely, it was cheap. I'm gonna go to Gaza to get my next implant. It's gonna be super cheap. <clears throat> you can probably get just somebody's mouth and teeth, and they can just implant the whole mouth. <laughs> sorry, that's not funny. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not really funny. Sorry about that. No, yeah. mine wasn't funny either. Can we change the subject again? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> so Adrian's birthday, eight eight year old birthday, is on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So Friday, I'm gonna surprise her with cupcakes. Nice. At wow. God, I hope you're not making them. At school. You should put a tooth in there as a joke. So I went to the office just to make sure what time I should come in. Should I come in at the end of the class or whatever? Went with her and the teacher. The teacher says. They don't allow cupcakes anymore at school for birthdays. Why? Yep. What? Yep. What? Yeah, really. What's up with that? That's been for a while now. Why? Why? Because all the because kids are going to get them, right? They're allergic to nuts. They're oh. allergic to 
gluten free or whatever that thing is. And there's oh like four God. kids in her class that she even told me that they're alert. They have allergies to some kind of. What foods. is more and exciting and interesting for a kid to see another kid swell up? How <laughs> come when I? <laughs> How come when I was that school. age, nobody had allergies? Nobody yeah, had. I want to know the same question. I had allergies. What the hell? I had allergies. Where did you get to high school? Wait, don't Brian, to nothing Brian, you could always go to a, how about a bagel shop. I had allergies. I had to allergies to pets, and I had allergies to um, mm -hmm. um, pollen. So yeah, you know, those you, so those you, kind so of you know, the, you know what the doctor and my mother do? We moved to the country and got a cat. <laughs> and so I wheezed and I coughed for the first summer that we were there. And the next time, I, I completely got rid of my uh, allergies. Okay? So, I mean, in those days, that's how you handled allergies. Kids wheezed and coughed until they built up an immunity. Now oh, we God. won't let them build up an immunity. We just, oh, don't but get you, 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 Yeah, so, but you know what? The parents didn't sue the school either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Her daycare, when she went to daycare... She had these peanut. She had oh, she had like the pretzels with peanut butter inside. Mm -hmm. They they called me and said you have to come and pick these up. Oh my god! Oh they man, peanut butter in there. That's been and going they, on for years. Here's the peanut butter. My daughter's taking things and eating them. Who cares if the kid swells up? So what? You know. So what's your plan B then? Yeah. We, we already pulled that joke, by the way. Yeah, I, I asked. I asked, can I can I be at the the gate and give them on like prop public property and they said no you're not allowed to do that you cannot what hand if, out anything what if her mouth goes through the fence on the <laughs> other side <laughs> so well, you know something? i don't think I, I, I don't think you want to do it for yourself because let's say one of the kids is allergic and let's say they have an anaphylactic reaction the but they should know they're allergic and then they shouldn't have a cupcake that's right there you go well how old? We how, to deal with that a lot. How old are the birthday kids? Birthday parties here? and everything else. And lactose intolerance, all that crap. Yeah. You can have pizza, all that stuff. Well, you know. Well, lactose intolerance doesn't usually put you in the hospital. No, it just ties up the bathroom for a while. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I have it. I know the feeling, so. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you got three or four of them to do. <laughs> yeah, well, that could be a problem. Especially <laughs> if I want to get in there. I know, it does. <laughs> Oh, the, okay. older, the older daughter is 15, and she has that, so she gets the special milk. And so when our milk's gone, we just read her milk all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so anyway, um, it's wonderful what's happening in Congress. <laughs> Nothing's happening. That's what's wonderful. Uh, huh? This is the, you know, this is such dysfunction. I mean, aren't these adults... No, you know. they're not. But they're being paid while this is going on. Yeah. yeah. You know, if we if we take their pay away from stuff, bills would get passed a lot quicker, and this type of garbage wouldn't happen if but, they weren't getting paid. What I would well. say they should probably do is find some kind of middle-of-the-road person that both sides can agree on and make him the Speaker of the House. Bernie yeah. Sanders. No, no. Trump. That's, Trump. That's no, the Bernie problem. Sanders is not. I'm kidding. I'm and to kidding. To begin with, he's a senator, so he could never be the Speaker of the House. I, it wouldn't surprise me after this, after uh, Jim Jones or whoever this guy is, uh, if, they, if they don't, if they don't, Jim Jones. <laughs> I know. I know he's not Jim Jones. His name's Jim whatever. So poor Kool Aid guy, Jordan. <laughs> Jim Jordan, yeah. that's right. In this yeah. second vote today that they did on Jordan, he, lo he lost. He lost by more than he did the yeah. first time. Uh, and they, yeah, yeah. I think they should yeah. go outside, get like Matt, Matthew McConaughey or something like that, or Oprah. Or yeah, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan would be good. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's just it, Tyson, Mike Tyson. It just shows the total dysfunction yeah. that exists now. You know, this never went on when I was growing up. You know, you know, Republicans, they were Democrats. Many times they went along with each other. Yeah. Now it's just, if you're a Democrat, we're going to be in opposition to anything you want. That's the way it is now. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, really yeah. bad. They don't, even, they don't even work. They don't even do our work for us. They just argue amongst themselves. Yeah. Yeah, they're not doing the work of the people. 
No, no, they're not for the people at all. They don't care about the people. They care about themselves. And then what's his name? Who's the, the guy that uh, got all these charges against him now? Um, Donald Trump? No. Santos? <laughs> Mendez? No, Santos. Santos, Santos. Yeah. Santos Mendez. Yeah. Well, which one, yeah. Uh, he, mm -hmm. He's been trying to, um, well, let me see here. 0.4 miles away at Central Park West and 101st Street, there's a car fire reported. Okay. Oh, barbecue. You guys used to report the barbecues all the time on Live 105, remember? <laughs> yeah, at least the car used to call barbecues. Yeah. They call them barbecues, yeah. Yeah. This is really cool, though. I we, we signed up for this thing called Citizen, and it tells us everything near us that's a problem. Uh, hmm. we, you know, there was a guy, like guy, guy pulled out a knife on somebody, uh, the armed robbery at this place. Alex Marjorie, Marjorie was in a walker going down the street. Marjorie. I got the, I got it. Nothing ever happens around here. So I didn't yeah, nothing ever it. happens around here either. <laughs> I know. We got rid of the app. Today, well, if you're in New York City, today, yeah. Marjorie had to go up to the bank to use the ATM, right? And it's, it's what, about 3.30? So the bank's still open. Right? The door to the bank still open. She says, I was going to wait outside. She says, come in with me just in case there's somebody that's going to rob me. I said, Absolutely. you're reading that citizen report too much. <laughs> no, there's an earthquake one, and it went off today, and there's no earthquake. Oh, my God. Yeah, there oh, was yeah, an earthquake was. in Rio Vista. It was in Rio Vista. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah 4.6. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh well, that's real close to San Jose. Yeah, and we got a we got a warning on our phones. I yeah. got one too. I didn't know and, where you're. I mean, real I didn't feel so far anything. away. I didn't feel. I, now I know where well, it's did at. Did every, everybody get that phony one a couple of days ago? They sent all over the country. Uh, they they warned everybody. I slept it. through that yeah, one. That, yeah. that was an OES test. Yeah. 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 It was. I slept right through that. This is a it's test of the emergency happened. broadcast system. It's not the emergency a broadcast anymore. They don't give a crap emergency about alerts. broadcast anymore. They want to come over your cell phone. Yeah, yeah there's everything. no more. Oh, by the way, there's one tomorrow at 1019. Yeah. The earthquake. Oh, for the phones right? again? Yeah, mm -hmm. the earthquake one. Yeah. Oh, well, there's I'll, leave, I'll leave my Fabia bed asleep again. Is that going to be national or just in California? Uh, just to be on the app, I think. It's, it's the shake, great shakeout. The great yeah. shakeout. Yeah. They do it in California. Yeah, my shake. And by the way, I did feel the earthquake here. Oh, really? Yeah. It, where, it happened. Where are you? Well, you're fairly the... close to Rio Vista. Answering the, oh, yeah. Uh, the time where old, are you? A answering I mean, the time old question. About 40 of... miles from Rio Vista is where he's at. Uh, sometimes it just depends on the ground that you're on, you know, whether it... Uh, whether go ahead, it Alex. Takes... <laughs> oh, Alex, go ahead. It's your show. <laughs> no, it's a little late now because I was interrupted by uh, earthquake uh, by uh, 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 Alan, and oh, yeah. I, well, I had a joke, and the timing was just right, and now the timing has passed. Okay, well, I'll shut up. A little late. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> Damn. And nobody heard the start of it, so you can tell it now. It's no, so it's too late. I can't even remember what it was. Oh, that's the problem. <laughs> That but that was funny, so that worked. What? Yeah. Every time I open the app, it shows that I'm in Nigeria. I don't know why. <laughs> you're in, you're where? You have are. A VPN. In you app. Have, is your VPN on and pointing to Nigeria? I have no idea. What app? The Shake It app. Oh, I oh yeah, I, I have one again, of those. And then I zoom out there, and it shows I'm in Africa. I have the earthquake one. Let me see. Oh really? Yeah. I get all the warnings from San Francisco because my VPN is in San Francisco, and that's where they think I'm at. Oh, okay. Earthquake. Hmm. Well, there was just an earthquake. There was a 2.46 earthquake in New Zealand uh, 16 minutes ago. I felt that. Hmm. Why is that important? Uh, I just read it on the screen. It's oh, not sorry. important. It's okay. completely not important. Well, in fact, let's go backwards and erase what I said. <laughs> <laughs> what are these guys going to keep voting? What are they going to do? They're going to have to keep voting until they get somebody. But is it going to be like like McCarthy again, where they're going to get somebody in there and say, "Well, well no, what, we'll what happened you, was with, McCar with, 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 with McCarthy. McCarthy made a deal." 
And the right, deal right, was right. that they could just one person could start a vote exactly. against him. Yep. They don't. They're not doing that now. And Matt Gates they, took them up on it. They, they learned their lesson. You know. Yeah. Right, yeah. How's that going for you? I think is the is the term they use. You know. So, I mean, it, it's it, 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 just total dysfunction, just total dysfunction. I don't understand it, you know. Anyway, let me see here. What else is going on? Anything else going on of note? They found that the the guy confessed. The guy who murdered his, his the girl in Natalie, Aruba. Ho Natalie Holloway. Yeah. yeah, he like went into detail today. Sound like? Yep, I heard well, he that. Made, he work. made a deal. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's serving two, right? Two 20 year sentences or 40 yeah, years? Yeah, that if he confessed to it, they would uh, lower his Get sentence. Get rid of the death whatever. penalty or something. No, they, no, no, they weren't. There was no death oh. penalty involved in this. You mean yeah. this guy from like 10 years ago? 20, yeah. 20. 20. 20. It's been 20 years? <laughs> what he did was he not only killed the girl, but then he tried to hold the parents up for money. Yes, I remember that. To let him know, let him know where the body is, you know, yeah. whatever. When the body wasn't even able to be found, because I think he threw it out in the ocean. Yeah, yeah that's he, what I heard he, a couple he months. Drug her into the ocean and uh, knee, knee high ocean, and yeah, yeah. Why did he kill her? Because he made said, a because, sexual advance, made a sexual advance at her, and she pushed him away, and then he went and grabbed her, and she kicked him in the balls. <laughs> I tell mm -hmm. my daughter, any time a guy grabs you, kick him in the balls. I tell my, well, she kicked him in the balls. Well, maybe that's oh, a bad idea. Retaliated. She fell, and there was a cinder block there, and he bashed her head in, and then, like, oh my god, yeah, he went into like the detail. Man, god, so, too bad it wasn't Marjorie Taylor Green <laughs> or Lauren Boebert. Or lower, but, but, yeah, either one of them. Except the, she's hot, mom, though. That would have been a waste. But the mother, like, took it really well. She was like, you know... Uh, I didn't want that daughter. Closure, we, we, he was a suspect, and now he was the murderer. You know, it's like sort of weird to hear Alan, sometimes say. I wonder where your sense of humor comes from. Who? Yeah. Alan? You know, I hate Marjorie Taylor Greene, just like oh. most people. So do I. The most decent people. That's where my it. sense of humor comes from. Yeah, but you don't wish that they be killed with a cinder block. Instead of this girl? Yeah, I do. No. Not a sense of humor. It's a sense of truth. Really? You would like it if she got killed like that? I, I don't want her killed, but if it, oh. in place of this girl, this innocent girl, uh, why not? Uh, you you mentioned Bobert. I mentioned Marjorie Taylor Green. Oh, well, I was just... They're both good-looking, Ray, actually, if you're looking at... Marjorie Taylor Green is good-looking? I think she's kind of Neanderthalish. Do you? Well, you guys yeah. have no taste. <laughs> well, now I'll get in trouble with... Uh, Lauren Boebert's kind of mm -hmm. hot, though. I'm going to get in trouble with YouTube now for you. Yeah, I was going to say. For your comments. Oh, shit, no. Blah, 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 blah. I always get in trouble for other people's comments. Yeah. I said she was hot. How's that going to get you in trouble? You're talking about Bobert. You're not talking about Marjorie Taylor. Green. No, I'm talking about. Well, they're, I think they're both kind of. You're sexier. trying to justify a really bad taste joke. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, and just was, why don't you I just say sorry and we can move on with it? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. At least I can remember my jokes. Got any good jokes about Gaza? No. Uh, yeah. No, that would be sad. Mm-hmm. What, what, what is that? That's a laughing person. I'll give him the thumbs up for him apologizing. That's all. No, oh, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. But, but if I had your address, Brian, I would send your daughter a birthday gift that she wasn't allergic to. Cash. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Cash. Join that slime. So how you doing, Steve? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Why do you and I just hold a conversation here? You, I, and sure. Brian. And Steve, what happened if they said, uh, we want to bring you, you know, go to Israel. We have you live on KQED. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, they should, they, should, they should send you over to Israel. And then you can do all the station breaks from there. Oh, sure. And then I could just take cover each time that something happens. Yeah, I mean, it's just that all these people, all these companies are sending their people over there. 
Oh, I'll do even better. I'll just bring sound effects. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, I mean, it's like, oh, man. It's wah, just, wah. It just makes me mad. It just makes me mad. It is in such bad taste. You know, I, I think we need to have the, the, we need to know the news. But, you know, also, as, as, as this thing has been going on, what's been suffering is all the other news in the world. That's, that's it. going on. As, as people say, Ukraine isn't being covered. You know, the thing with, uh, with uh, the, the Republicans, if, the, if there was nothing going on in Israel, the thing that's going on with the Republicans right now would be the thing they'd be talking about 24-7. But because there's the Israel thing, they just mention this at the end of every newscast. Oh, by the way, they didn't get another. They didn't took another vote today. We don't have a speaker yet, you know. So I mean, it's just it's horrible. I wonder why they can't make the interim speaker speaker temporarily. What do you mean the interim? There the is an interim that, guy. Yeah. yeah, there's a guy. That, he is. Yeah, and, I he didn't and he is, but they can't take any votes and things like that till they've got a speaker. Oh. Well, I understand that, but why can't they make him the temporary speaker? They can. Oh, well, there you go. They can make they anybody won't. the speaker, by the way. They can make me speaker. That'd they be won't. Cool. They won't, but they they could. How about Kevin Stopper for speaker? Oh, absolutely. I'd vote but for him. Have you, have you guys, did you see Biden speaking today? And, man, he's like, you know, it, it's really painful just to watch him talk. He's he's reading, you know, he's reading the stuff and he's talking and he's I well, he's, so he's needs, stuttering a lot, but he's he, had a stuttering problem his whole life. He's right? he needs, no, 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 he's not stuttering. It's just that he's reading and it's just painful because he's just old. And he walks away, he's old. I think he's really tired too. Yes, I That's agree. True. Now yeah. he needs to not. Oh, by the way, run. you know what I did? I I've, I've been testing something. I get tired a lot. Uh I I get lightheaded a lot. So for the last day, yesterday, I didn't take all my pills I take every day. Mm. And today I felt sensational. Mm. You know, I was going to ask you a while back about that because you were mentioning how many pills you've been taking. And I thought, I wonder what would happen if you didn't take your pills one day and to see how you feel. Yeah, well, now I'm not going to take them again tonight and see if I feel even better than I felt today. You got to give us a couple hours warning if you're going to die. No, oh. what are your, look, look. If what, I are your pills, hmm? what are your pills for? You have, you know, the usual blood pressure, blood pressure uh, 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 you know, um, statin. For, yeah, you know, cholesterol. cholesterol. Uh, do, do you take your blood pressure often? I mean, do you you have a thingy, right? You have a thingy, and do it. Yeah, yeah. How you should, well? If you're not taking, you should. Make sure you are checking your blood pressure next few days. Just see what it yeah, does. Yeah, but even though even if I go off of it for a couple of days, my blood pressure goes up or whatever it does, goes mm -hmm. down. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Goes down, because, you won't need the blood pressure medicine. Can I finish what I'm saying? Oh sure. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 you know it it it's not going to be enough to cause me a problem. You know, just like if I don't take my cholesterol for a couple of days. Maybe my cholesterol might go up slightly, but the minute I start taking the statin again, it's going to go down, you know. Uh, but I just think that the doctors are prescribing too many pills. Mm -hmm. And I don't think my doctors are looking to see what are in conflict with other drugs. The people who usually come up with that uh, are, the, uh, are, the, are the pharmacists. They'll say, well, you know, this might cause a problem if you're taking this and you're taking this. But I never get that from the doctor. He just prescribes me another pill and forgets all the other pills he gave me. I always ask the pharmacist. Yeah, that's what I just said. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. good advice. Yeah, well, I mean, they're, they've been more, better at that, okay, than, uh, uh, you know. Like, I had some pill that I, the doctor uh, prescribed for me. And they called me and said, uh, you, you know, this is kind of going to be in conflict with this other thing. But I was only going to take it for a week or something like that. So I said, don't worry about it. Yeah. But it's, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Um, uh, and I think that we prescribe too many pills. We do mm -hmm. too little. Am I, really, hmm? 
Mm-hmm. You'll have to do it a few days in a row to see if that's really well, what also, is causing Well, also, you know, I mean, they don't say to people, uh, well, um, you know what you should do? You should stop eating this or be careful about fats or be careful about this or be careful about that. They just say, here's another pill. This will take care of that. Yep. Yeah, as much so- as they can prescribe is the most money they make. How many, yeah. how many are you taking right now, Alex? I'm taking six. And I'm oh, thinking oh. I could cut about three out. I'm beginning to believe that. And, and it wouldn't change my, my so body any, at all. Anything um, that's life-preserving, I would be careful about cutting out, like blood pressure. Yes, you but, it, but if I don't take a blood pressure medicine for two days, it's not going to change. No, two days is not going to change. That's what anything. I'm saying. I'm right. testing it for a few days here to see. Like, I yeah. felt pretty good today, you know? I'm feeling a little tired now, but I First mean, of all, uh, most blood pressure medicines last about 36 hours, so. Yeah. yeah. A couple of days won't hurt you, probably. No, no. And I, I'm, I'm just testing it out. But, you know, I mean, if, if you know, I, I think I could drop probably, I could get rid of about three of the six pills. And I really think I should, you know. But, uh, you know, it, 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 doctors just love to solve the problem by giving you a pill. That's it. Not by you telling know. you to change your lifestyle because, oh, God forbid we should have somebody change their lifestyle. Not once has a doctor said to me, you've got, high, you've got high blood pressure. Here's how to modify your diet so it goes down. They said, fine, uh, fine. you've got high blood pressure. Here's a pill you can take that will make it go down. Well, I mine, mine has, and mine, I take the same one you guys do, Lister or whatever, yeah. Anytime, it's, April, anytime it says statin at the end of it. No, not statin. It's the That's no, for heart, cholesterol, blood pressure, Lysinopril. blood pressure, blood pressure. Lysinopril. Yeah. So, so, but my doctor every year he has me do a diary. Does it like for days three or four days, and he says take your blood pressure just like four times during the day. Write them down the times and all that stuff, and then send it to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, well, it's it interesting. Sure it doesn't go up or down, but he, I, I don't think he's tested it like no blood pressure medicine and then do it. Be interesting to see what happens there. But what happened with me, I went in for my physical uh, the other day and they were freaking out because my heart rate was at 41. Not good. And uh, <laughs> they're like, what is going on? Are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm fine. Well, why are you like this? What, what's going on? And uh, I just told my, I'm, I'm athletic. I ride all the time and, you know, I'm constantly uh, exercising. They said, well, that's not right. You need to go to your cardiologist and talk to him about that. Go to the cardiologist. He says, everything's fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 If you're really exercising a lot, athletes tend to have their, their beats per minute can be down to 35 or 40. Isn't that when they're exercising, though? When they're done? No, when no. they're exercising. The, the, it's at the, yeah, the, it goes that, up. That's the resting the, heart rate. Resting. Oh, yeah. okay. got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. 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 When you're exercising, yeah. the, the heart rate will go up, hopefully. Oh, and by the way, Brian, you got to figure out what the beats per minute are on Alex's uh, ex- exit theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they can hear it, they can't hear yeah. it. <laughs> like, I'm going to start playing it right now, and, and you'll never be hearing it. I don't know why, and I haven't been able to figure it out, but I'll I'll come up with it. Although you could hear some of these other things, other promos that I have. So, eh, who knows? Anyway, that's it for tonight. Boy, a um, lot to talk uh, Not a lot to talk about, but a lot to talk about within the few things that we had to talk about. Uh, but uh, I'm glad that, uh, that I managed to straighten uh, Alan out about uh, what, a, what an implant is. <laughs> you know, um, it's several procedures is what it is. Anyway, thank, thank you, too. Steve, for being here at the very beginning of the show and really be t- you're terrific. You know, I really appreciate <laughs> thank it. You. And thank you to Brian Neary. Host a little yeah. good having you here. Uh, Alan, good having you here. Uh, uh, Kevin, hey, nice to see you. And Ray, as always, a pleasure. Everybody, 
Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? Here we go. Wait a minute. Let me just get myself together here, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll wave goodbye, and there we go. That's it. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you again. The, the Jack Bishop is next. We're here with The Intersection. We'll be taking your calls to GabNet Live on Skype, okay? In the meantime, we'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. And as always, in the meantime, as we like to say, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Good night.